Alright, so in this video what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking an auxiliary port that's going to be going into your phone or mp3 player or iPod or mp something or other, and I'm going to show you how to connect just normal regular speaker wire to your auxiliary so you can extend it to something like, I don't know, a speaker that has positive and negative terminals. Now, this is not saying that power differences is going to be ideal for whatever your situation is, because I know, like, last videos before that I've made, I'm not trying to tell you how to hook it directly to, etc., etc., I'm showing you how the connector would connect to the speaker wires. If you need to know how to figure out the power in which you need to do this, whatever the device is, you need to figure out the input and the output to whatever the other device is, input and output. But this is specifically for how to connect it. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to chop this bad boy in half. And this is what it looks like once you cut it. What you're going to have to do next is separate out the positive, the negative, and all of the wires that are surrounding the outside, which are the grounds. So we're going to have to peel back this plastic part and separate those out. Okay, once you've cracked the bad boy open, you're going to have three wires in here. It's going to be your positive, your negative, and your ground. They should be color-coded in some way. Red is going to be your positive. Uh, black is negative and you should have another one which is your ground it's kinda hard to tell here but if you come across a situation where it's like this one of them is red one of them is blue and one of them doesn't have a color it's just a copper wire the copper wire is gonna be your ground your red is gonna be your positive and the other one is going to be your negative black or blue or whatever it may be. Okay, now that I have everything set up, I've got my wire stripped here with the three wires coming out of that and the two wires connected to the negative on the left and the positive on the right, which are stripped at both ends. Now you can connect them. You're going to be connecting the ground, which I have on the left hand side, the, the copper one, that's going to be going to the negative side. And then you're going to have your red and black or red and blue, left and right, positive or negative, whatever you want to call them. The other two are going to be together on the right hand side for the positive. All right, just a reminder, for anything that you have that's coming out that has these colors on them that aren't just normal color, even even if there's a, a copper colored one, um, there's a layer around it that won't have any conductivity, so if you touch two of these wires together, nothing's going to happen because there's a, a layer that goes over both of them. So a quick and easy thing to do is you can either sand off this protective coat or get a lighter and burn it off. So let me show you that real quick. It's super fun. Just like that, it takes the coating off. So once you have everything connected with the copper wire on the negative side and the left and right or positive and negative on the positive side. Now everything should work and you can solder these together or you can tie them up however you please. And when it comes to sound quality and stuff like this, this would obviously not be the best auxiliary cord. This is just a cheap one that I got just to show this video. But uh, you definitely need a very large gauge for um, any kind of music or any kind of um, powered anything like this because this is a very large speaker that I use for my surround sound and um, 
even then you might need to have uh, extra power running through it. So I hope this uh, helped you guys out if you wanted to connect your auxiliary into any kind of speaker or other kinds of objects around the house.